Hello and welcome to a mini-series that I'm starting where I give simple and quick tutorials for different Minecraft mods. The first mod that I'm going to be doing is Galactic Craft because it's a really confusing mod to start out in and the only other tutorials I could find on it were either 6 years ago or an hour long. So in this video I will show you the basics of how to get to the moon and survive in Galactic Craft. If you enjoy the video please consider subscribing, it's free and you can always unsubscribe later. Enjoy the video! Real quick before the video starts, I've been wanting to host some Bedwars tournaments with cash prizes, so if you want to see that too, please consider going to my new Patreon. It doesn't cost much, and you get a lot of cool perks. Bye! Okay, so the first thing to take note is I'm not going to be showing any recipes to any item in this video, so that's where I recommend getting just enough items. It has a list of every single item in the game, and a search bar, conveniently, where you can just see how to craft any item in the game and what it can be crafted into. It is really helpful. So moving on into the video, we have ores. So these are all the new ores added into Galacticraft. We have copper, tin, silicon, and aluminum, which is used to craft pretty much every single item in Galacticraft. So, go mining for these ores. So everything in Galactic Craft takes energy, which is where these machines come into play. We have a coal generator, an advanced solar panel, and a geothermal generator. Take note, the geothermal generator is more advanced and later in the game. So, the first thing you're going to want to make is a coal generator, which, as it sounds, generates electricity using coal. Now using the coal generator, you're going to want to hook this up using aluminum wire. You're going to hook up all these machines that take energy and put them in to an energy storage module. And as you see, it's now storing energy because the coal generator is generating energy and the solar panel is collecting energy from the sun. Quick side note, the energy storage module is not required. It is just highly recommended because it stores energy for when, say, it's nighttime and the solar panel isn't generating any, you're going out for more coal. It's just really useful for storing a lot of energy. Also, at the beginning, you will not be able to make this right away, so just hook up the coal generator right into these other machines. Okay, so these two machines are the main machines you're going to be using throughout Galacticraft to do your crafting. First of all, we have the Circuit Fabricator. You're going to craft this first, and you're going to put a diamond, two raw silicon, redstone, a redstone torch, or a redstone repeater, and it's going to start making basic wafers. But I almost forgot, it's got to be hooked up with energy. Hook this up with energy, and it'll start making wafers. Redstone torch for a basic wafer, redstone repeater for an advanced wafer. Now with now with these wafers, you're going to want to make a compressor. A normal compressor takes coal to run and can compress pretty much any of the new ores in the game. As you see, you just take new ore, place it like that in the compressor, and it starts compressing. And it'll make compressed copper or compressed aluminum or compressed pretty much anything but i highly recommend making an electric compressor which is a little expensive but is a lot more convenient as it takes electricity instead of coal to run and compresses things twice as fast that's a lot faster and it does two at once so overall great investment to make now that you have these machines made, we're going to start making a rocket. But we're not just going to use a crafting table to make a rocket, we're going to use a NASA workbench. Now a NASA workbench is what's used to create rockets, buggies, pretty much any like advanced technology is going to be used, is going to be made in a NASA workbench. A rocket is going to be mainly made up out of heavy duty plates which is going to be used by compressing steel, bronze, and aluminum. You put that into compressor, and it's going to make you heavy-duty plates. Now you take these, put them in your rocket, 
and then you use just enough items because you downloaded it, not sponsored, and make a rocket using heavy duty plates. Now these three spots in here are storage. You're going to want to put three chests in here so you have the most storage to take on your rocket. And trust me, you're going to need it. Okay, now that you've made your rocket, we're going to walk over to our launch pad made out of iron and place in a 3x3 formation and just plop your rocket right on top of that. Now that you have your rocket, you can get in it, click F to open its massive inventory, which is really, really useful. But you, we can't go to space just quite yet. If we went to space, there's no oxygen in space, believe it or not. We need oxygen gear. So let's walk over here and see what oxygen gear and machines we need to make before we go to the moon. So the actual gear we're going to need to put on our bodies is an oxygen mask, oxygen gear, oxygen tank, which oxygen tanks come in light to heavy form. I highly recommend using a heavy tank because it's not much more expensive to make and it holds a lot more oxygen so you can go a lot longer on the moon. You'll also need a parachute, which is not going to save you from falling off a cliff. You're just going to need it to go in the rocket. But take note, these oxygen tanks are not going to come pre-filled. They're going to come empty. So once you get to the moon, you're going to want to place down probably about two to four oxygen collectors, which in the name is going to collect oxygen. But there's no oxygen on the moon. So that's where you're going to have to take some Minecraft physics, place down a dirt block and a sapling, and grow a tree, which is, as in real life, going to produce oxygen, which is super realistic. So now that you have your tree placed down in your oxygen collectors, you're going to want to take this new type of pipe called fluid pipe, and you're going to want to hook that up to all your oxygen collectors and take those and lead them into an oxygen storage module, which is, as you see, going to start filling up with oxygen for later use. Now with this oxygen storage module, you're going to want to lead the oxygen fluid pipes, whatever you want to call them, into an oxygen compressor. An oxygen compressor is what you're going to use to fill up your heavy oxygen tanks. As you can see, I place it right in there, and it starts to fill up with oxygen. I'm not going to wait for these to fill up, but you obviously would. And also, you're going to have to fill your oxygen tanks up before you go to the moon or else you're going to suffocate. So now that you've filled your oxygen tanks up, you're probably not going to want to have to keep filling them up in your space base. You're going to want to just be able to take them off and have oxygen in your space base. Well, that's where the oxygen bubble distributor comes into play. You're going to want to put the oxygen bubble distributor down, connect it up with some fluid pipe. As you see, it's going to make a ginormous bubble that's filled with oxygen. If you're on the inside of this bubble, you'll be able to take your space gear off and breathe just fine. This is the bubble at its full size, so it's a pretty good size, but it's nothing huge. So depending on how big you want to make your space base, I'd recommend taking a few of these. Now there is one last step before you can actually go and fly to the moon. You're going to want to take all your stuff, pack it together, all your building materials, oxygen gear, everything, click F, load it into your rocket, but then you're going to realize you've got no fuel. Yes, you need fuel to go to the moon. It's not just going to run off nothing. So that's where you're going to want to find oil, which is this black looking water that you'll find at the bottom of caves. You're going to want to bucket this stuff up and take it to an oil refinery. You're just going to put the oil buckets in the oil refinery, keep putting them in there, and click refine and it'll start refining your fuel. So once enough fuel has refined, you're going to take another bucket, put it into the other spot, and it'll fill with fuel. Then you're going to head over to your launch pad put a fuel loader right next to it, put your bucket of fuel in, and it'll start loading up with fuel. You don't really need that much fuel. As you can see, one bucket of fuel filled up the rocket all the way. Now once your rocket's filled up with fuel, you've packed all your oxygen gear together, 
you're ready to go to the moon. Once you're in the air with your rocket, you can control your rocket with the WASD keys. I do not recommend like moving it really far across from where your launch site is, or else it'll be a pain when you're coming back because you'll be super far away from your space base. Once you've gone all the way up into space, you'll be greeted with this screen where you can choose any planet to go on but you only have a tier one rocket right now, so you can only go to the moon. By going to the moon, you click overworld, and then moon. It'll zoom into the moon, and you click this green launch button. You'll get the achievement going to the moon, and you'll spawn in this. You'll have to hold space to slow down your velocity, or else you'll die when you come in for landing. As you can see, there's the moon with all its craters and everything and you have successfully landed on the moon. So once you're in the moon, you know you're gonna set up your oxygen gear, build your space base, and do whatever you really want to. Now you're on the moon. Thank you everybody so, 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 so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Also, leave a comment down below if I should do a part two of what you can do after you land on the moon or more advanced features of Galactic Craft. Have a great rest of your day.